hope you're okay today welcome to the bible study again our third bible study in the gospel of john these bible studies are done on a thursday evening and we're going through the gospel of john and if you'd like to come and uh, just let me know um put an opening prayer father we thank you for this day we thank you for your goodness and your love and your blessings and father we pray that you bless this bible study for your glory lord in your name amen okay uh we're going to look at uh, john chapter one gospel of john chapter one verse 19 to 28 now this is the record of john when the jews sent priests and the levites from jerusalem to ask him who art thou and he confessed and denied but confessed I have not come the Christ I am not the Christ and they asked him what then art thou Elijah and he said I am not art thou the prophet and he answered no then said they unto him who art thou that they may give an answer to them that sent us what sayest thou of thyself he said I am the voice of the one crying in the wilderness make straight the way of the Lord as he said prophet uh, as said the prophet Isaiah and they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him, they said unto him, Why baptize thou if thou be not the Christ, nor Elijah, neither the prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you, whom you know not. He it is who cometh after me, is preferred before me, whose shoes and latchets I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Batharaba, beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day, John see as Jesus coming unto him and said behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world this is he of whom I said after me cometh a man which is preferred before me for he was before me and I knew him not but that he should be made manifest to Israel therefore I have come baptizing with water and John bear record saying I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove and it abode on him and I knew him not but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending, and remaining on him, the same is he which baptized with the Holy Ghost. And I saw by record that this is the Son of God. So it was John the Baptist. Well, we looked at before uh, the other week, uh, the other Bible study, uh, concerning that he he was someone who pointed to Christ. Um, we can look at we looked at Matthew the other the other Bible study, but let's look at uh, Luke chapter three. Luke chapter three, verse one to eighteen, and we get again John the Baptist. Now, in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate, being a governor of Judea, and Herod being a tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip a tetrarch of Atarea and of region of Trachonitis and Licinius and Tetrarch of Albany and Annas and Cephas being the high priest and the word of God came unto John the son of Zechariah in the wilderness and he came into all the country about Jordan preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet saying the voice of the one crying in the wilderness prepare ye the way of the Lord make his path straight every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be be brought low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough ways shall be made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of god then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him O generation of vipers who would warn you to flee from the wrath to come bring forth therefore fruit worthy of repentance begin not to say with yourselves we have abraham as our father for lo i say unto you that god is able of these stones to raise up children unto abraham now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees, and every tree therefore which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? And he answered and said unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to him that have none. He that have meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, and what shall we do and he said unto them do violence to no man neither accuse any falsely and be content with your wages 
and as the people were in expectation and all men John whether he were the Christ or not John answered and said unto them or oh, I indeed baptize you with water but one mightier than I cometh whose latches whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose he shall baptize you with Holy Ghost and with fire it's uh, interesting that rabbis in that time uh, in the time of Jesus said to the disciples you mustn't um, well, when you're doing menial tests one thing you mustn't do is un untie somebody's shoes that's too menial and yet John the Baptist says I come the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire so John picks on that one issue that the rabbis mention whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge his floor and will them quenchable fire many other things in, in his exhortation preached he unto the people but Herod the Tetrarch, being reproved by him for Herodias his brother Philip's wife for all the evils which Herod had done added yet this above all that he shut up John in prison so John was the voice crying in the wilderness he was uh, born of Zacharias and he was uh, a Levite as we've noticed like the last Bible study and um, he was tenacious he preached baptism why did he preach baptism he preached it because in the Old Testament um, if we're to read Ezekiel 36 25 um, that's where the idea of baptism comes from so if we look at Ezekiel 36 uh, 25 it says they then will I sprinkle clean water upon you you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. and the Baptist preached uh, baptism and it was an offense to the people of that time because only the Gentiles got baptized it was saying what well, you were filthy wicked vile sinners Gentiles so you need to be clean that's what baptism meant but John the Baptist was preaching it not just to the Gentiles but to the Jews and it was offensive to people if you go to John uh, chapter 1 verse 19 to 28 uh, we get a flavor of who John is and what his ministry was about notice the word I am by John verse 23 John chapter 1 verse 23 he said I am the voice of the one crying yeah notice verse 26 I baptize John answered them saying I baptize with water notice verse 27 he is who coming after me is preferred before me who shoes latch it notice I am not worthy I baptize I am the voice yeah verse 30 this is he of whom I said yeah verse 31 I did not know and I knew him not I come baptizing with water verse 33 and I knew him not again and so he uses this I am not I am baptized I'm baptizing and he's making it clear look I'm baptizing I am the voice and he's saying I am this and he's making a difference a differentiation or he's making a separation between him and the Messiah he wants to make sure that people don't think that he is the Messiah because in that time the the Jews thought that uh, John was the Messiah and they were looking for three people they were looking for Elijah they were looking for the Messiah they were looking for the prophet and they were wondering who John was and so John is saying, I am the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. I come to baptize. I'm not the Messiah. He's the Messiah. Yeah. Now notice um, that these... Uh,